Hello everyone, Kasim Khan is here. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell button for more updates. Thank you so much for watching my video. And so guys, today we are going to learn about the very important concept of interest rate, that is frequency of compounding. In this, we will learn uh, how the compounding uh, and how the frequency can impact your interest payments and the interest return and how the uh, interest return can increase if the frequency of compounding increase in your cash investments. So here is the definition of frequency of compounding. Interest is often compounded more frequently than once a year. And uh, saving institution compound interest semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, or even continuously. So it depends upon, and most of the time in real life, the interests are annual, but some investments plans are also available in which the compounding is done on semi-annually and quarterly basis. So how it can give the benefit to the investor and the lender uh, and how it can increase the return of the investor. So we will learn in this topic. So here is the general formula about the frequency of compounding that is FV, uh, FV into N is equal to PV naught. FV is your future value and is your time period that is equal to P, uh, PV present value. Uh, of your uh, deposits and into one plus i i is your interest m is your compounding period and uh, uh, total power is equal to m and m is your again compounding n is your time period so with this uh, with the help of this equation uh, we can calculate the total uh, future value uh, by changing the different compounding time period so here is the uh, problem. Julie Miller has a $1,000 to invest for the two years at an annual interest rate of $1,200. So uh, here is the uh, illustration with the help of this, we can understand very well about the uh, concept of compounding. So uh, Julie Miller is totally depositing $1,000 and uh, for the two years and the annual interest rate is 12%. So uh, if the if there is no compounding and uh, only Jul Julie Miller only getting the annual interest, how much the how much will be the future value of this investment? So FV uh, annual interest will be FV two because our time period investment plan is two two years, so that's why FV two is equal to one thousand one plus point uh, twelve is its. Uh, point, uh, point one two is its annual interest and there is no compounding uh, only one compounding in the one year so that's why we will we will take one uh, uh, at this uh, at here so um, uh, total power is into one compounding is one at that time period and is two so after uh, two years uh, the total value the total return of this investment for uh, Julie Miller will be the 1254 uh, dollars. So after two years, this amount will uh, be offered to the Julie Miller and this will be the future value of its investment that is 1254. So now we will observe uh, in the next equation how the compounding effect and the how compounding can increase uh, your total return and the total investment. So let's suppose if we, uh, if we see and if we change uh, and uh, Julie Miller, uh, uh, let's suppose the investments have been compounding, uh, compounded semi-annually. So here is the FV2 is equal to 1000. Simply we will change the uh, figure here because only we are changing the compounding number. So here we are, uh, have been put the 2 and here is also 2. The, so the future value uh, in the semi-annual compounding, we will get 1262. So it is increasing and uh, just with the uh, two times of the compounding, your return will be increased almost $8. So in the if the compounding is quarterly, your return will increase at $12.66 and the compounding is monthly, your return will increase by $12.69 and if the compounding is daily, your return will increase $12.71. So uh, frequency of compounding increase your uh, return on your investment and it is very good for the lender but it is bad for the borrower. So uh, if you uh, if the uh, your depositor institution if your saving institution offer uh, compounding on your investment you always purchase this opportunity because with this option you, uh, your returns your investments uh, can increase over the time period. So here is uh, the concept of nominal rate of interest. What is the nominal interest rate? The nominal as stated annual rate is the contractual annual rate of interest charged by a lender or the promised by the uh, or promised by a borrower. This is a very simple kind of interest. 
and let's suppose i give you a simple example i deposit 100 rupees today in the bank and uh, bank is asking me we will give you 7% interest rate of return on this $100 deposit so uh, after one year i will get 107 dollar from the bank and 7 is my nominal interest rate or a stated interest rate i can also call it annual rate of interest this is a very simple kind of interest rate here we will learn about the effective annual rate interest rate what is effective annual interest rate and how it affect your investments and your how it can affect your return so effective annual interest rate the actual rate of interest aren't paid after adjusting the nominal rate for the factors such as the number of compounding periods per year so most of the time you know if you purchase if you take the offer of compounding in your investment plan so after the nominal uh, interest payments uh, your uh, effective your compounding effect also ad adjusted so that is called effective annual interest rate e eAR is equal to 1 plus i divided by m m is your compounding uh, compounding periods per year and divided by uh, key power m minus 1 so here is a simple example basket uh, wonder bw has a 1000 cd at the deposit cd means commer uh, commercial deposit so uh, bw has a 1000 commercial deposit at the bank the interest rate is 6% compounded quarterly so here is uh, the on the its deposit compounding is uh, on quarter basis for one year what is the effective annual interest rate eAR so uh, eAR effective annual rate that is equal to 1 plus 0 0.06 uh, divided by 4 because our compounding is quarterly so in one year there are four quarter so we will divide uh, with the four and uh, four total amount power is four minus one so uh, here is we find 6.14 percent will be our uh, annual effective interest rate so that this way we can find out the uh, effective annual interest rate and how it can affect your investment we can also find here so here are some example of effective annual interest rate you can see the book and you can uh, make your concept more clear if by studying this kind of example so thank you so much for watching my videos uh, so guys it was all about how the frequency of compounding and the how the uh, if, uh, if compounding effect can increase your uh, total investment total return so uh, you must need to consider whenever you invest the money and in, uh, whenever you lend the money in any institution so thank you so much for watching my video take care stay happy stay blessed